Nisei's. Oh. And, oh, yeah. So Nisei, is that first generation or second generation Japanese from the U.S.? He was probably second generation. Second generation. But, uh, but he, he owned a restaurant and he got stuck with, uh, with that decree and uh, moved him over to, uh, mm -hmm. to, to one of those bases. Manzanar or someplace, yeah. yeah. And, uh, he went to language school, of course, he, he could rewrite and speak, yeah, yeah. speak Japanese before he went there, you know? Yeah, and, uh, he could teach it, but, probably. <laughs> yeah, but when he, uh, when he showed up in, in Osaka, they, uh, they, had a real, they, they took over what had been the International Cotton Club Businessmen's Club. Oh, ma'am. And uh, it was a unique place, and had a, yeah. officers, had, officers had a bar down in a, in a, in in the basement. a basement, and the first floor had a bar for enlisted men. And, mm -hmm. They put this guy in charge of the rest of them, and he had two crooks from Chicago <laughs> working for him, and they were they were his uh, ration detail. Yeah, and it, that, were they it, active duty? You know, oh yeah, it was there. all active duty yeah, guys. Yeah. And uh, but the, the the cook, you know, scouted around the neighborhood and found a couple of very nice looking young Japanese ladies mm -hmm. that come in and be uh, waitresses. Yeah, and, and got them fancy kimonos and that. Oh, wow. And he, he picks them up night. But it was the only place I was ever in the Army where you could order off a menu three meals a day. Wow. You know, they mm -hmm. hand you the menu, you order, and there's yeah. nothing out. And it, 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 the two cooks from Chicago uh, want to go down to Quartermaster and put a bottle of booze and yeah. get, get them any other guy to go out and st steal whatever he could find. Man. <laughs> So what was the the cook's name? The Japanese cooks, do you remember? I don't remember. At this point. Oh, is that the phone ringing? Yeah, that's what happened, sir. Okay. Now, how long ago was when Jerry called, you know?